Good morning. So, last night was interesting. Um, there was a, an extreme weather warning around here, which I was not aware of until, um, you know, shortly after it came out. Anyway, it, it came out at 2.15 a.m. And I was woken up at around about the same time, <laughs> somewhere around 2.30ish, with a sound of very high wind. Um, it's... I think they were saying it was supposed to be gusting up to, you know, 60, 70 miles an hour. And I am happy to say that although the bus was rocking from the wind and the uh, <laughs> dining tent was making weird flapping noises occasionally, it's still up. Um, you can see it behind me there. Um, it survived. And it looks no worse for the wear. I can tell. So, it has successfully uh, <laughs> successfully stayed put under, I guess, essentially our gale force gusts. It was very gusty. Um, but yeah, it's I'm, I'm impressed. Anyways, um, I made some coffee this morning. You know, did the I hooked up my stove again. Um, and piled some stuff on the box. Um, I had a, I tried some of my prepackaged food for breakfast. It was actually pretty good. All you do is add a, some water and stir, and it regenerates the milk, uh, dries, has dried milk in it. Um, that worked pretty well. Um. Seems the flies like it too. Unfortunately, I hate flies. Everywhere. They're so annoying. Um oh, this is gonna be so much fun to edit. I keep going horizontal, vertical, horizontal. Anyways, um So yeah, um uh, the plan for the for the morning at least is to start emptying the bus from the back so I can start reorganizing. Um I don't even have my pots and pans out yet. They're still under the bed. Um, so I would like to have them out. And then depending on how all, all that goes, I might just put the tarp. I think I've already got a little bit of stuff out. I guess you can't really see it. Um, I took a couple things out already. They're on the other side of the bus. Um, the idea would be to um, put a tarp over them if needed and put something heavy over the ends of the tarp like, I don't know, a cooler full of drinks, I don't know or something like that and then possibly go back into town um, seems some idiot forgot to bring their toilet with them so um, doing number one in... <laughs> Is not a problem. Doing number two, well, kind of is. So, I guess I could use the trash can as a bucket. I don't really want to do that. So, uh, I might just end up heading into town. Besides, I need to get my prescriptions refilled anyways. Which means i got to go all, all the way up to Bellin, which is, ugh, what, a half hour drive or so from here? So, we'll see. But first, I need to get stuff out of the bus. So I can start looking at what to do. I mean, I've got a big... I got, like... I guess it's... Well, it's three or five gallons, I think, of water in the back. In in the, the blue water container. Um, so I'm not going to be short of water. I still have a little bit left in there and in there. Which I guess is still water from Oregon. <laughs> Believe it or not, and I picked up a gallon, which you might be able to see in the bus there, um, lying on the floor. Yeah, I picked up a gallon at Love's um, in Bellin, I think. Anyways, uh, so I have some water still there, but I also have the the big green, the uh, green, big blue thing of of water in the back. Actually, why don't I get up? I should do something about it. Ugh. Step over 
things. There we go. So. And so yeah, I've already got a couple things out. Took the took the charcoal barbecue and the, the grate fire grate out. Anyway, yeah, so I have this thing of water. Remember it's three gallons, five gallons, I don't know. It's pretty much full. I filled that up in Oregon as well. But I need to take all of this stuff, all of this stuff out so I can actually get at some of the things like the pots and pans I think are under the bed in the bin. But I can't really get at that bin right now. And I would like to get all that stuff reorganized as well. So it's going to take a bit of work. I'm kind of allergic to work right now. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know. We shall see. But I think I got my diesel. Got two empty tanks of propane and one that's, I don't know, half full, maybe. Get my slow cooker. I don't know, they don't actually say slow on there. It's not slow. Um, it was meant to be a slow cooker, but it's really fast cooker, actually. Because, well, the propane heat comes on and it just starts cooking things. I got uh, parts for my radio replacement job. So those, that speaker in the front works. This one does not. The other two are under that mess on the floor. You can see up, up in the wall there, there's a spot to put one there. There's a spot to put one there. So what I'm going to actually have to do is find them, pop the old speakers out, put the new speakers in where the old speakers are. Like actually mounted into the thing that mounts to the root, the ceiling, and then remount them on the ceiling. I don't think I'm going to put the cable tray back up today. Or this trip. But they sit above the cable tray. You can see up here they kind of screw into the cable tray as well, but... I don't know. We'll see. Let's assume I can even find the screws for them too. God, these flies are annoying. Anyways, um, I'm not sure how much water is left in the Home Depot thing. That's designed for you to pour in a like a bag of ice and then top it up with water and then have cold water for like a day or two. So I may, if I head in, I may actually come back with some. Uh, the bag of ice to put in that or I might just bring that with me I'm not sure I don't know. <sighs> and there's the tarp to put over things I'm done the 9 foot by 19 foot tarp it's Harbor Freight special but it should do the trick um, <laughs> should definitely cover things anyway it's big enough again almost almost big enough to cover the bus I mean it's the bus is 8 feet wide and 19 feet long so the tarp can actually go over the bus if I had to do like roof work or something like that so because the actual bus part with the roof like it's 19 feet bumper to bumper so the actual uh, part that would need a tarp over it is much shorter yeah, I don't know, six, 15 feet or 16 feet or something, I don't know. Anyway, that's the general plan. Well, I'm up now, I might as well do some work. If these flies would piss off, that'd be nice. They're so annoying. I don't even know what kind of flies they are, but they are annoying. I do know they don't like uh, landing in hot coffee, though. Cause one of them was on the rim of my coffee cup, and I, I gave it a burst of air, and it <laughs> fell right in the coffee and instantly died. Uh... So I had to dig it out of my coffee. I'm not going to pour my coffee out. Uh -uh. Spit out, you wee bugger. Um, Alrighty. Let's get some work done. Well, that gets it started anyway. Take out a bunch of the stuff from the back. As you can see, there's a bit more space. You can actually see the RV battery sitting there and see the generator. Um, still some miscellaneous in front. Um, including rivets and ceiling stuff and actual 
straps, strap things down. Mm. Please tell me I didn't mess up this leather. Anyway. Uh, it's going to need some leather dressing later anyways. And there's my kit with the knives and stuff for kitchenware. You can actually see the bin that has the kitchenware in it now. I forgot I have another thing here that needed to be filled with water in Oregon and never did. I moved the Home Depot jug into the dining tent. Um, this one's empty. Go up there, it'll get filled later. Um, so yeah, I'm getting there. Um, got some rice there. Got a bag there with uh, some dal. Uh, vegetarian doll and coconut rice. That one there's got fire starters in it. So yeah, it, it still needs a bit of organization. You can see in my chimney there, I've got the little pans. If I ever want to do a smoking thing, um, I do have some wood chips in the bins back there somewhere. Like that one's the propane. Um, little little things of propane, and then the charcoals up in front there somewhere as I say there, there's still some clean up to do and I also have uh, that one there has you see the lantern has kerosene kerosene lantern which would have been helpful last night I've got the the um, basket thingy to like for cooking a steak over a fire you can flip it over although I don't really need that with me now because I'm not going to be doing an open fire, pit fire. Maybe sometime later I'll build a build a stone circle and, and do it properly. But right now I'm not really planning on doing any... I, I didn't bring any... Well, okay, correction. I brought one piece of firewood. I didn't realize it was still in there. Uh, so I didn't bring firewood intentionally. And it turns out I could have used it all the way through California. Um, so... All the state parks let, were letting people burn stuff. As long as they're really, being really careful. So, the other cooler can come out. It's empty. Uh, the pinchy chair can come out. The soft side cooler can come out. Like, there's still more stuff to do in here. But, I'm pacing myself. <laughs> I'm going to go sit down. Um, I did find... Yeah, the... So, I also have the, the um, video... DVR system, I, which I, I'm planning on putting on. The cameras, I was going to put one up, one up there, essentially. Um, one or two along each side of the bus. So one, probably up, up above, in that one clean spot at the front, right behind the, the, the light, and the other one probably right up here, I'm not sure. And then I also have the backup, backup camera one, which will go rear view camera for the, for the dash cam, which would go like right above the license plate somewhere in here. So I also have to check to see if this thing has a, um, a light for the, the license plate or not. I don't think it does. Which means driving at night could be potentially illegal. In a lot of places, I don't know. And then, yeah, another camera. Basically up there. Another one up there. And assuming I have all the right pieces and everything else, I was thinking probably put one camera up on that bar facing forward and somehow I don't know if it'll be that DVR or what I want to put one somewhere down here facing forward um, but yeah the actual DVR itself would go in the cab the storage compartment the cabinet up there um, which will also have my Wi-Fi router and other things such like such as that. 
I have all the antennas for the, the Wi-Fi and all that, which I could look at installing this week, maybe. I don't know. But they're in the, the mess along there somewhere. So I'm going to go sit down for a bit. I mean, it is not exactly cool out here. Um, I want to sit down. And I will get more of the stuff cleaned up and out. And then get more stuff done. Oh, and I found my toaster. Um, the camp stove toaster. Which is great because the rest of the hot dog buns I have... I have no sausages for them. My God, those things really like my stove, don't they? That stove really needs a good cleanup. So maybe if I remember, I'll grab some bleach wipes or something and I can clean that thing off nicely. But yeah, it's getting there though. A bunch of stuff. Yeah, so I brought the brought this inside. So I have water, although it needs to be up on top of something to be useful. Maybe I'll put it on top of the other little cooler. Or bring the big cooler out here and stick it on top of it. I don't know. It'll do for the moment. So I think I'll take the probably warm water now that's left and make more coffee. Instant coffee, but it's still coffee. Yeah, I know leaving this open um, allows the flies to get in here, but they're already in here, so it stops some of them. Obviously, you see a bunch of them on the outside, but you will see a bunch of them on the inside, so whatever. Otherwise, I'm going to have to keep opening and closing the zipper over and over and over and over to go in and out, so meh, you can, you can stay open, I guess. But yeah, I am definitely impressed by how well this thing behaved in high winds it couldn't have been happy about it but it did it so that's all that matters it didn't break it didn't fly away i mean it's pinned down um pegged down at, at each of the the corners and then guide out at each of the corners as well so and it looks like that was enough for the winds that we had last night although that isn't quite right but whatever probably have to readjust some of the, <laughs> the guy ropes or something i don't know don't care it's it's holding for now all right sitting here on mr pinchy and you can't really see it anyway um yeah the other one of these actually broke which was fine um, one of these was the ones that pinched my finger really badly because I wasn't paying attention and opened it wrong and the metal supports pinched my finger horribly. Oh, that was a few months ago. Anyways, I've recovered. But when the other chair decided to break, it got unceremoniously dumped in the dumpster at whatever campsite I was at. Um, I had no patience for these stupid chairs. I've taken the heck was that try again i took a bunch of stuff out of out of the bus and including the the big bin that has the food the food prep stuff in it which is under the bed the other big bin under the bed is still in there which has amongst other things my pipe and my cigars so i probably want to get that out of there sometime soon too and the solar panels are still in the middle of the bus. I wish you get them out and charge some batteries. I don't know. But meanwhile, I'm enjoying what little shade I have, which is being cast from the from the tent. It's giving me shade. So and I moved to the other cooler outside, put the the drink cooler on top of it so i have water out here to be drunk get off me you stupid freaking flies and and we're 
looking a bit more campsite like the other side of the bus has a whole pile of stuff piled along it um but yeah i think it's time to watch some more shows i've been watching uh james may's oh cook um cooking show on uh, prime video as i have pretty good cell coverage most of the time here and the reasoning for that right there there's the cell tower now granted it's a mile maybe two miles from me direct but I can directly see it so um, 4g 4g 5g tends to work I have noticed that um, if if I if, like when I first got up, it was saying it was in 3G. All I did was sent myself an SMS, and all of a sudden I had 5G because I think what's happening is the, the cell tower isn't really just my phone was idle; it didn't know I was here, um, which doesn't quite sound right. But whatever. As soon as I sent it. Uh, an SMS, which had to try to get through to me. It, of course, registered to get to send the SMS, and it went, oh, yeah, here you go, and, and connected me correctly, and then everything started working again, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Um, I still do have my 4G router in the bus that I have not hooked up yet. Um, that bug off. That hopefully will be hooked up later today. And to start with, I'll probably power it off that um, lithium ion pack. But ideally, I should either be running it, I should, probably should be running it straight off the batteries that I have, which need to be charged. <sighs> off me uh, but yeah so I think I'll watch James May for a bit more and then maybe get inspired to actually make some lunch um, I do have the pots and pans available to me now they're on the other side of the bus but they're available <laughs> and so I'm thinking I might do I don't think I have very much propane left in the, the wee tank that's connected to the stove right now that's okay. I have plenty more wee tanks, and I do have the the big tank, and I would hook the big tank up to the stove. So I'm not going to run out of propane, and if I do, I have two empty tanks that I can bring into town and fill. Um, empty big tanks, 15, 15 20 pounders, um, one of which broke my back window. <laughs> but anyways, um, they're empty. Uh, so... If I'm looking like I'm going to get low, I'll do that. And I might bring the generator in here. Um, probably put it over there or something like that. So I can actually you know, run it under somewhat of cover. It's still in the bus. Uh, easily accessible now, but still in the bus. And I have a, of course, have a, a custom hose for it that came with it to hook it up to the big tank as well. Now, I did not buy yet, but I probably should uh, for for next season, is one of those, um, what do they call them, propane trees or something like that? Anyway, it's basically a pole that mounts, I think, on top of the tank. But anyway, it gives you multiple places to plug things in, including one on the top to... <clears throat> put it one of those way too bright uh, propane lanterns on it because um, that would actually be kind of useful. I could hook up the stove, I could hook up the generator, I could hook up the barbecue grill, like the grill or the cooker all at the same time. It's like three or four, um, three or four drops on it. So that would be nice in the meantime until I actually have the propane. Um, 
in the bus properly, complete with the the vent hole, in the, like in its own little compartment with a vent hole and through the floor, and you know, doing it up to spec. Um, so that way, if it leaks, it just goes straight out of the out of the vehicle rather than building in the vehicle. Is the idea? Um, yeah, my plan for that. Let me just. Okay. My plan, my plan for that is uh, on the other side, basically right across from where that air conditioner um, condenser is right now. Um, like basically behind the seat, just have a box there. Oh, you didn't can't see that because my finger's behind the camera. I mean, to have a box basically. Uh, where is it? It's really hard to see it's too much, so much light. Anyway, um, I have the box like basically there as part of the kitchen. I have the kitchen counter over it. And that way, all I need to do, kitchen counter wise, like like plumbing wise for the propane, is I take, I basically have a T, high pressure T, in, inside the container where the, where the tank is and then feed it out to the stove um which is like in inside the bus i have lots of windows to open i'm not worried about ventilation um and also um put a put a connection downwards with another t under the bus so i can hook up the generator or and or um barbecue grill or take it or whatever else outside um not that, that way i can put the generator like down the floor beside the bus outside and have it running feeding back in back into the electrical system which i also have obviously haven't run <laughs> and when i'm at a when i'm at a campsite that has electricity i can just plug in the electricity from the campsite in as shore power instead of the generator that's my general idea but i have a lot of designs to write up and then buying you know however many thousands of dollars worth of crap i'm gonna put in this bus i'm not sure how much it is right now anyway <laughs> but i have i've definitely found that this bus pretty much is sufficient for what i need um, it would be nice to have air conditioning and it would be nice to have proper heating. So on that, that air conditioner that's in there, the, um, the condenser there needs to come out. And because the evaporator inside, which you can kind of see in through the windows, is still in the way. It's a head bunker and I want it gone. Um, but to do that, I need to actually drain all the Freon out of the system that's in there. And I've yet to find somebody who will actually do it for me. Um, which is ridiculous. But I want to take that condenser right out. And once I've got that out, that should be where my batteries, like put a battery tray type thing in there instead. And I should be able to put, you know, several, like that's what about one, uh, maybe four batteries wide um, in there, which should do fairly well. I mean, I have two, uh, two lead acid ones right now, and that's enough space for four lead acid or so. And then, but then I would have to have an RV AC, which I can put over top of the in case you can kind of see it inside the emergency exit um, that's in there can pop out i can take that right out and put the air conditioner there that's that's the general idea but you know overall plans but yeah for now the air conditioner is there only will work while the engine's running and then it will ruin my fuel consumption and help overheat the engine so i don't want to do that and it doesn't work very well anyway um 
earlier in the year I tried it on one of my other trips and it's, it blows noticeably cold air but it needs the refrigerant fixed like recharged and whatever else anyways or just drained um, and take the whole system out which is my preferred option get off me <laughs> neighbor's having fun with the dog again Oh my god. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Right, time to watch the show. Bye bye. So, I got my pots and pans out. Um, and I'm making some potato soup. It comes from a can. I've had, I've had that can for quite a while. It has a very long shelf life. I mean, it's kind of prepper food type of thing. Uh, I approximated stuff, put it in there, heat it up, let it boil for, well, simmer for like 10 minutes, and it's good to go. But it's potato and, potato and bacon or something like that, I think. I don't remember. I mean, let me get back around here. <clears throat> Not just cream potato. So, but it is quite delicious, the stuff I've had from it before, and although I, at times, jokingly refer to this as Mormon food, it actually is Mormon food, <laughs> made in Salt Lake City, um, the Mormons, I may not agree with their, some of their religious tenets, but the idea of always being prepared and having, you know, canning your food and, and all the other things that they've worked into there, into the way they work, uh, is quite refreshing, actually. Now everybody else is starting to get into prepper food type of things, but they've had it going for quite some time. Oh, I should turn this down a bit. really need it sticking to the bottom. I don't want to turn it off. It's a problem with this particular stove. It's either on or off. There's very little in between. Yeah. Like, almost nothing in between on and off. It's either all the way on or all the way off. So I'm going to say I've put enough heat into it. I can put the lid on. And let it just bubble for a bit. With the remaining heat. I mean, the instructions say whisk it into boiling water. Simmer in low heat for 10 to 15 minutes, stirring frequently. You know, it's going to be what it is. <laughs> but it's just for me, so don't care. Of course, these stupid flies, that's another story altogether. But what can I do? I mean, other than restarting that and letting it cook a little bit longer and low, again, I don't don't know how low I can actually get this thing to go. I really should go get the the lighter as well. I've been using matches. Anyway, fun times. Back to watching shows while this finishes whatever cooking it's going to do. Okay. Got some food. Dried food, like camping food type stuff in the back. Got a couple things on the seat. 
bin full of propane stuff, bin full of non-propane generally, um, other stuff such as the, uh, the kerosene lantern and the kerosene, actually two kerosene lanterns, the one in the Amazon box is leaky and pretty pointless, uh, got the, the box with the solar panels in it, toolkit, and a bunch of miscellaneous boxes still. So, but it is pretty warm out, and I just want to sit in the shade for a bit. So I'm inside the bus at the moment, along with however many million flies that seem to want to be wherever the heck I am. Annoying little brats they are. Um, I still need to get the other bin out from under the bed. It's down, down there, somewhere. Um, as it has in it, at least one thing that I want in the short term, which is my pipe. I do wish to sit this evening and smoke. Maybe that'll keep some of the flies away. Eh, I can maybe not. Some of these are actually biting flies, and they bit me in the ankle a couple times already, the little ankle biters. Uh, I don't know what kind of fly they actually are, but they are not my best friends, that's for sure. They're very insistent, and they like to fly right in front of my face. They like to fly between me and my food, between me and my coffee. You know, not so great. And I guess I do still have another sleeping bag over there too and my camera but yeah we're getting there the question will be how to get all this stuff back in here in a more sensible manner get out of my ear um, so I can not have quite as much of a mess heading back so but it depends. If I end up putting up the speakers, that might make a difference too. However, I might just wire them just the way they are right now. And try with three speakers instead of two. Instead of one. And see how it goes. I don't know. I mean I do have a new I do have a new radio unit to put in. But to put it in a radio unit, you have to take apart half the dash. I really don't feel like doing that right now. Um, I have four new speakers. I have all new speaker wire. So, but to run it, you'd have to run the speaker wire up into, up into there. This is what it was run before. It's actually in the wiring loom. And you can see the ones hanging down the window. And the other one came back here. Then it loops back in the wiring wiring loom and it comes down, and then it, we have one going up from that wiring wiring loom, which goes up and over, and then we got one there going up and over. So rewiring this is going to be a a bit of fun. But the other thing is, once I'm home. My general plan is once I'm home to actually go and take a good chunk of this stuff and put it in storage. Because I'm not planning on going camping again this year. I'm not planning on it. This man not going to, but not planning on it. Anyway, um, the propane and kerosene cannot go into storage. It's going to have to stay in the garage at home. But that's okay. Um... Or in the shed out back, either way, at home. Um, but, and I don't really want to put the generator in storage. It can stay in the garage. Same with the, the RV batteries. Um, God, these flies are annoying. <sighs> anyway, but a lot of the other stuff, like the cooking gear... And all that stuff, if I'm not actually camping, does not need to be in the bus. It can be 
and the you know the solar panels and stuff they they don't need to be in the bus they can actually be in storage and then once it's actually time to use them i can take them back out again i'm also gonna probably take that panel off back there because i believe that's how the wiring for the um, rear view the rear lights and all that stuff is hooked up and i would really really want to get that unwired um because that if that thing is closed that lock is closed the buzzer goes off like as soon as you go to start the vehicle and if you're not careful and don't put it properly in, into the locked position there locked open position it bounces itself out after a while and then starts going off while you're on the road which happened to me on the way down I had to drive for about I don't know 10 miles or so with that stupid thing going off because there was nowhere to pull off <laughs> then I pulled off uh, wherever it was and, and um, opened the back door closed that locked it and then everything was good to go so I do have the locks the actual locks I want to put in are here um I don't know that I will have time to be playing with that because I still need to find one of the hole saws. I think it's in that mess up there. The other hole saws with the, the locks itself. It's the, the smaller hole saw. I don't know where it is right now. The one inch or whatever it is for the actual deadbolt part. The, the bigger one that like the two and whatever inch I actually put the lock cylinder through. I have that one out there. So, it might be something to do tomorrow morning. I'll at least look into it tomorrow morning. I still need to get all the rest of the stuff out of here, basically. I mean, these ones are in a good spot. They sit on top of the on top of the wheel well. That's wasted space pretty much anyways until I actually have this thing built out. When it is built out, the toilet's going to be sitting on top of the wheel well is the plan and there'll be a, a heater in front on this side of the wheel well and then a step down like as part of the step down have the heater core in the step because i'm thinking i want to take that heater core out and hook up a different heater core up here which is oh about three four inches high and wide rather than that one is just a big block, which I can't use right now anyways, because I have so much stuff on top of it that there, there's no way I can actually use it anyways. And it's not, well, it's wired, but at the front, the switch was on the, the, the pedestal. I believe it's, I think it might be that yellow wire that's sticking out, but it's, it's not hooked up to anything right now, so I can't turn it on even if I wanted to. I have all the wiring diagrams and everything for the bus, so I don't think they're with me. I think they're at home. But I do have them all, so I can actually go about wiring it correctly. Um, so, I don't know. But yeah, that's the mess that still has to come out. And basically, all the clothes for now, I'm just going to throw them on the bed. And then. Once I have everything restacked, the, the clothes can just sit on top, kind of like they are now. Although, maybe a bit more organized. But yeah, solar panel kit. Really should go outside and get hooked up. I just don't feel like going outside right now. It's time to chill a little bit. And it is actually, compared to outside, it is decently chill in here. Um, I might want to open more of the windows. Um, to let the breeze through. The reason I have that one back one closed is because I can't really get to it once I have all the crap in here. So I couldn't really get to it to close it. So it just stayed the way it was. Oh, look, I got more crap on on leather seats. Oh, well, that's why you buy leather cleaning products. That seat is going over about here eventually, but. And the bed will be along the back here at about, 
probably just under the latch level, somewhere about there. Um, because I also want to be able to have it, maybe actually maybe a bit lower, because I want to have it so it can be used as like a table type of thing. Have the table in the middle and have it so you can actually use it as a table with two seats and or just put the table down like in place and have it be a bed that's the general idea and then underneath the bed on that side will be storage actually on that side would probably be a water heater i think was the original plan i don't know if that's going to happen or not and then under this side would be storage as well so we'll get there eventually that's the plans for what is get out of my ear <laughs> some plans for, for what it should be like in here um still got one more sheet of aluminum there and the two other pieces from the the sheet that got used for the back window um ideally i want to get rid of as i say i want to get rid of the head bonker which also means getting rid of that because that is the refrigerant um pipes going up up to it and once I get rid of that, then we can actually take the last bolts out of the floor because that's what was blocking us from doing it over there. And then we got a bunch of bolts on this side that need to come out as well, which I can't do here because it actually requires two people and it requires the bus to be up on, up on jack stands, which I also did not bring because there's absolutely no point in it. Um, <laughs> I don't need extra crap in the bus. I've got too much crap in here already. So... That's the general idea, anyway. Um, we shall see, right? Yeah, there's the one one burner stove that I can use. I mean, really, if I if I want to, I could actually just use it like roadside to heat up some coffee or whatever as I go along or whatever I need to do. It just screws right onto the top of one of the cylinders, and it has a little base that you put on the bottom of the cylinder. Um, you can see in the picture there. It's upside down, but you can get the idea of what, what I mean. So, I had one of those when I was living in Ottawa during the time that we had the the uh, East Coast had the entire entire coast lose its power there for a week or two, whatever it was. My immediate thought, as soon as the power went off, and I, it was obvious it was staying off is go to Canadian Tire and buy one of those. I got the last one they had in the store at the time. But it it was a lifesaver because you just put put a pot on top of it, put water in the pot, you know, <laughs> throw in some hot dogs or whatever, cook it up, there's, there's your food. Hot food, I could just sit out in the balcony and use it. So it's pretty useful for camping too. Um, the, the Triton stove has done me very well, but having that as a backup is useful. So... No, oh, that's where the other and the refill um hose is in there. It's not supposed to be, it's supposed to be in the in the bin. <sighs> Great. Anyway. <sighs> These flies are so obnoxious. Anyway, time to veg a bit. Stupid flies. Well, I found the wireless router box. <laughs> um Amongst other things it has in it. It's also got a USB hub in there. Um, the USB hub and that are both permanently going to be mounted up here. At some point. Along with the... Um, what should we call it? Uh, uh, DVR video recording type thing. Uh, set up. I mean, right now it's still got some of the actual wiring, bus wiring up there. So I'm not quite sure what space I have available. I haven't got quite got to that yet, but actually while I'm up here, I'm getting pretty tired of having that thing hitting me in the head, <laughs> that wire hitting me in the head as I'm driving along. So I'm gonna shove it and this brown wire back inside there. So they aren't constantly pissing me off as they have a tendency to do 
and locked it. Up. There we go. That goes there. Likewise, we have up in this compartment. So I may end up putting USB hub or part of it or something up here. You can see it's got plenty of stuff missing. The flashing unit is gone. The display for the flashing unit is gone. But I still do have some of the, of the actual bus wiring coming through here. So I can't get rid of all this stuff yet. But, again, I don't really need these hitting me in the head. So what I'm thinking of doing... Basically, put this all in here. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. Like so. And then... Ha! Ah, no dangly wires! So much better. It's still not permanent, obviously. Uh, but I can take this down pretty much any time as well. Um, this is a vent of some sorts, which doesn't do a whole lot for me. There we go. Let's stick that back on. That's the air conditioning controls. It'll eventually be taken out as well. Uh, backup alarm, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That's going to be gone too. But, yeah. There's a lot of a lot of wiring that needs to be redone. But anyway, I've just been sorting stuff a little bit. And the 4G is connected. And I'm plugged, plugged into there to recharge. <laughs> Um, seems these flies really like something over here now. Can't quite figure out what yet. Awesome! Okay, that is good. Those are the sea foam put in the tank. Which would be a good idea to do at some point. Give it some more sea foam. More clothing, more clothing. Yeah, it's all this stuff here that I need to to deal with. But I don't remember what the what this is for. Oh, that's for the bed. That's what it is. Like, what do I have that's not put away right now that goes in one of those? That's that's for the bed itself. Okay, that makes more sense. All right, let me give myself a bit more wiggle room here. Okay. So yeah, the getting stuff moved around. Got a computer in there, which I'm not going to be using right now. Um, there's the bin with all the charcoal in it. I guess I want to use the charcoal grill. I don't remember what was the purpose of the bag necessarily, but it's getting down to something reasonable anyway. Move this stuff to the door to so I can get it outside when I get around to it. And yeah, the wiring the wiring tray is over there. Those are the pieces that actually were up across across there. There's two pieces. Um, the screws for them should be with it somewhere. Um, and the speakers are 
I think underneath the wiring tray on the floor. I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah, let's get all this stuff out of here. I think the next thing to do will be sweep and then figure out how things are going to go back in here in a more sensible way. And really those wiring things are a big part of being in the way, to be honest. Um, don't think they're connected to anything anymore. So I probably can move them under under the bed. I'm not sure. That would be good if I could get them out of the way, and that way all these bins and things can go up against the wall more. Actually, that one could probably go 90 degrees, and I could probably put the other one that's out there 90 degrees in there, and, you know, actually get a little bit more space. So it'll stick out about the same amount, but you'll have twice as much stuff in there. And I do have a propane heater back there, the Mr. Buddy. I have no need for it <laughs> this time of year. It can probably go into storage as well. Um, but yeah, there's a few more boxes of stuff. And more clothing on top of it. And that box underneath the sleeping bags are the the um, the radios. The uh, I can't remember the GM. It's like FRS, but it's the more general purpose one. Anyway. I have one that is going to be mounted somewhere up up front, kind of like it's a CB, and the other ones are all handhelds. So I was going to use them on this trip if if I had company on this trip, but I don't, so I didn't bother getting them all set up. Um, actually, there's really no point yet, but it's already looking a bit better. Now if I convince these flies that there's nothing to see here, please move along. That would be awesome too. I'm wondering if I can find a empty plastic bag to put dirty laundry in. Because that might help too. Because it's kind of just sitting under the bed and <laughs> over there and stuff. Like that shirt, white shirt there is not really very white anymore. I got another one like that on the bed. So... Anyway, fun times. But yes, two bottles of of sea foam. And basically, use them. You're supposed to, if you're actually trying to use them to clean, you're supposed to use about one of those per tank. And each of those are like eight bucks or so. So, I bought one in California, one of the bigger ones, and, and dumped it in. But I knew I had some in here. I just didn't know where they were. Now I know where they are. Um, once I finish cleaning up the front, those will go up in the front. Actually, maybe even in the, the glove compartment thingy there at the bottom. So they're available for use. Because right now, well, not terribly available for use. Alrighty. And also I got paper towels. And also bag of Ziploc. Uh, boxes of block bags. That's good. Um, but yeah, more organization to do, but you know, heat of the day. I'd rather just relax a bit. Well, bus is not quite empty. Getting there though. Still one more bin under there, and a few boxes along the side. And oh crap! I threw under under the bed. Um, I put the speakers back up temporarily and hooked them up it seems the one speaker we have that works is the one in the back neither of the two in the front are working both of the two in the back are so interesting and I'm going to go and seek some shade over here for a bit and you know Yeah, that thing's still going strong over here. Apparently there's new firmware for it. Just looking into how one changes the firmware on that. 
without using the laptop. I mean, I could use laptop. I have it right here, but I don't know. We shall see. I don't know if I have any Ethernet cables to do it. Anyways, getting there. Now in here, this is gonna work for afternoon shade. What I'm gonna have to do is move this further over. Move that for the back. Move the party pack. Somewhere I can still reach it. Because I'm gonna want some of that in a moment. And then take up residence over here. Hopefully the flies can bugger off. Here's the general view southwards. It is not exactly cold out here. Bit bit warm and dry. Well they say it's 16% chance of precipitation today. So We'll see, I guess. And I got drinking water over there. The remainder of part of a gallon, I think, left there for making coffee. And then an entire gallon inside, whole pile of drinks in there. You know, more liquids here. Alcoholic liquids, but liquids. So, this is all comes down to what do I want to do today? Do I want to go anywhere or not? And I think right. Sorry. Like right now, I think the answer is no, I don't want to go anywhere today. So, we will have some hard pineapple strawberry lemonade. And oh god. Let's see how long I can last without the hat on. Before these things drive me insane. Alrighty, be back later. So I took out the tarp, tucked the edges underneath most of the way around. Almost all the way around. So this corner here. Um, I think that should hold for now. Of course, if we get more 60 mile an hour winds, who the hell knows? But, hmm. <sighs> Whew. That's tiring. Doing work. But I do have <laughs> just about everything one needs for a nice pipe smoke. Make sure the camper's in there. Yep. Okay, so the only thing I'm missing is a thing with lighter fluid. There it is. Let me go see if these stupid flies hate the smell. A pipe smoke because that's what I intend to do so I was trying to replace the speaker turns out the new speaker is just that much bigger than the hole so I put hung the new speaker up where that one was I still wasn't getting any sound out of it regardless of polarity. So I think the problem is either the radio itself or the wiring to the front. Either way, not something I'm gonna be fixing tonight. So, back to here we go. So, yep, half pipe. <laughs> Should probably plug the phone back in. Or shut off the battery pack one or the other. There we go, back to charging. 
All right, I got a show to finish. Sun's almost down. So, it should be nice to sit outside and cool down for a bit. And then, probably go to bed. What a concept. Anyways, beautiful day. A bit, bit too uh, fly-ridden for my like. It seems, when I was reading online, these things seem to be stable flies. Or what I grew up knowing as cattle flies. I hate them. Although these ones aren't nearly as vicious as the ones where I grew up. But um, when they bite, it stings for not very long. But they suck blood out of you. Um, not like a deer fly where it, they actually cut your skin. This one that sort of they seem sort of seem to poke in, and the itching goes away fairly quickly. Um, so all in all, they're a nuisance, but. I think I'm okay. Um, I was more worried that there was something like a blowfly or something like that, but those are all apparently like bright metallic colors and things like that generally. And these ones just look like normal house flies, but bite. So I'm pretty sure they're stable flies. Anyway, they suck whatever they are. Literally. I hate them. Anyways, whatever. So, had had some more um, prepackaged camping food type stuff for dinner. It's uh, chicken and something or other pasta. It was actually pretty good. And the flies love the, the food, so I had to wash the dishes pretty quickly because uh, otherwise they were just all over it. Um, but they seem to be gone for now, which is good. Because they're they're day daytime in the sun type of flies, and well, it's not really daytime anymore, and the sun's sun's almost completely down. So I expect I'll have them as a nuisance tomorrow again. Whatever. Such is life.